Good morning, good morning, good morning to you. Good morning, good morning, how do you do? Good morning, good morning, good morning to you. To you and you and you and you and you and you and you. Good morning! Welcome to my learning circle. I'm Miss Connie and I'm so glad that you're back again with me today to learn more about our alphabet. Let's get started by practicing our alphabet song together. Here we go. There are 26 letters in the alphabet. 26 letters for you and me. 26 letters in the alphabet. Now sing them all with me. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. H I J K L M N O P Q R S T U V W X Y and Z 26 letters in the alphabet 26 letters for you and me 26 letters in the alphabet Learn them all so you can read Very good job! I can tell that you are practicing because you are getting better and better the more we practice something, the easier it becomes because the more we learn it. So keep practicing so you learn it and can sing it better and better every time. Now let's learn a new letter together today. Today we are going to learn about the letter W, the W letter W. This is our uppercase letter W, the big letter W. This is our lowercase letter W, the little letter W. Let's put them on our board so we can focus on them and learn more about them. Were you focusing with your ears? Did you hear me say the letter W sound? That's right, the letter W says wuh. The letter W says wuh, wuh, wuh. Can you say it with me? The letter W says wuh. Wah, wah. Very good. Now let's think about some words that start with the letter W and the letter W sound, the W sound. There's W, W, watermelon. I love yummy watermelon. And W, W, whale. And W, W, walk. It's always fun to go on a walk. And W, W, Wiggle! All of those are letter W words because they begin with the letter W sound, the W sound. We've used our ears to listen and learn more about our letter W and the letter W sound, the W sound. Let's get ready to use our eyes to look and learn more about how to make our letter W. Our uppercase letter W has one two, three, four, four big long lines. And sometimes you'll see it like this, one big long line, and then one, two medium lines, and then another big long line, but still four lines. We can make this one like this. We have one big long line, and then one, two medium lines, and then another big long line. One, two, three, four. Four lines in our uppercase letter W. Now, our lowercase letter W, huh, it looks similar to our uppercase letter W, doesn't it? Let's look at it and see what is the difference. It has one, two, three, four, four lines just like the uppercase letter W. But it's a little bit smaller. The difference is it's not as big as our uppercase letter W. So our lowercase letter W, we can make it like this. One little short line, two little short lines, three little short lines, and then four little short lines. One, two, three, four. Four little short lines in our 
lowercase letter w. We've used our ears to listen and learn about our letter w sound, the w sound. And we've used our eyes to look and learn about our uppercase letter w and our lowercase letter w. Let's get ready to put it all together so that we can talk about it. Now, when we write a letter, where do we start? That's right, always at the top. Our uppercase letter W has how many lines? Very good, four lines. This time we're gonna write it like this one. We start at the top, one big long line down, one big long line up, one big long dot line down, and another big long line up. Our uppercase letter W, the W letter W. And our lowercase letter W, how many lines does it have? Very good, four lines, four little short lines. And we start them where? At the top, always at the top. One little short line down, one little short line up, one little short line down, one little short line up. Our lowercase letter W, the W letter W. Thank you so much for coming and learning more about our alphabet with me today and about our uppercase letter W and our lowercase letter W and the letter W sound, the W letter W. I'll see you next time. Bye for now.